I have been getting a lot of questions about the gallery test, which is a multi-cancer early detection test. So let's break it down. Let's talk about it in detail. The way that the gallery test works is that it's not meant to diagnose cancer, but it's designed to pick up a signal in the blood that may correspond to 50 different cancer types, most of which don't have routine screening like a mammogram or a colonoscopy. All cells in our body shed DNA into the bloodstream. That's called cell-free DNA. The DNA from cancer cells compared to healthy cells carries cancer-specific signals, and the gallery test is essentially an assay or blood test that's looking to pick up these cancer-specific signals. So the result of the gallery test will either say, hey, a cancer signal is detected or a cancer signal is not detected. So let's talk about the data behind this test. There have been a number of studies, but the biggest one that was published in The Lancet in 2023 is the Pathfinder study. So in this study, they had 6621, 6,621 participants that were 50 years of age or older. They could have had cancer in the past more than three years ago, but could not have been currently undergoing treatment or being worked up for any cancer concerning symptoms. Like let's say they're being worked up for a mass on a mammogram, like they were excluded from the study. So out of the 6621 participants, 92 of them, so they all took the test, 92 of them had a positive cancer signal, basically saying, hey, there is this concern. And out of the 92 with a positive test, 35 turned out to have cancer. So 35 out of 92, meaning 57 had a signal but did not have cancer. So that's a concern. Now, out of the ones that had cancer, the nice thing is that 71% of those cancers were cancers that don't have any routine screening, and half of the cancers were picked up in early stages, stage one or stage two. So that's good, but there were a number of false positives, meaning there's a cancer signal detected, but the person did not have cancer. That's out of the ones that had a cancer signal. Everyone else had a negative cancer signal, um, and that was about 65, 29 patients. So a large number did not have a detected cancer signal on the gallery test, and 86 were false negatives, meaning they had a negative sig signal, negative test, but ended up having cancer anyway. And a lot of that may be because it was, that cancer wasn't showing up in the bloodstream, it was below the detection of the test. So what do we do with this information? I think that the gallery test, you know, and these there's other multi-cancer early detection tests. They're very intriguing. Obviously, if we can take a blood test to see if we have cancer and, and treat that and find it earlier, that's really helpful. But as you can see, there were a lot, there were cancers that are not being picked up by the tests that are present. And the test has a lot of false positives, meaning there's a cancer signal detected, but the person does not have cancer and may need to undergo unnecessary diagnostic testing to, to you know, work that up. Additionally, the test is not currently FDA approved. It must be ordered by a physician and it costs about $949. So it's not cheap and then we don't know, you know, how often to do this test and at which intervals. We don't know how life or health insurance will look, especially life insurance, how it will look on having had this test and if it will discriminate when it comes time to policies and things like that. Um, and the most important thing is that it does not replace screening tests. So we tell people if people are getting this test, it does not mean even if it's negative, that you should not be going for your mammogram, your colonoscopy, your pap smear, prostate screening, and all of that. So I think promising, but not ready for real time yet. Let me know all of your questions. Put them in the comments.